Hi, this is Karen, and I am going to show you some... Um, I have been going through a frenzy right now of studying things. And when I mean studying things, I mean putting studs on things. It's become um, very in at the moment to... You're seeing studs everywhere. I mean, it's, I think it's moved from the traditional jewellery and like the belts with the studs to clothing and bags and it's like, you know, put something to stand still long enough and it's got studs on it a couple of minutes later. So um, I decided, being that I like studs as well, that I'm going to stud a few things that I, that I have. So one of the first things I did was I took my Converse um, sneakers. Here they are. I should have shown you them before. Well, here you go. Here's before and here is after. So I, I did these. Oh my God, a stud fell off. <laughs> What's the best thing about doing them yourself is that you can always um, put the studs back on. So that will be that will be back on. But um, actually I'll show you these ones where it's better. So there you go. I studied these Converse's my high tops. I've had these for a little while. Nice basic grey colour so it goes with everything. And um, I just sat down and I just put the studs on. Now I've seen, um, there is a store in downtown in Manhattan that um, they, they do studying on things like vintage boots and it looks, oh my god, it's amazing when you go in there. Um, and they do it on um, old leather vintage jackets. Um, dresses and stuff like that and lots of leather and they did it on converses except their studying was much closer together like with mine you can see scats in the middle but theirs was like it was like right next to each other and it was like full right down to here so I thought oh that looks good I'm going to try that so I did so and this is what happened so and I carried it a little bit on the back here I didn't bother doing it on this side because I like the star I wanted to leave the star all by itself so I did my own and these are so cool to wear I, I love wearing I love doctoring something and making something old new again so I did these that was one of my that was my first thing second one was a pair of fry boots I have which are right here I got these from um, a consignment shop that I love to go to in Manhattan downtown and as you can see the leather on it is like it's like a crackle, crack, crackled leather, is that the word? So um, I, there you go, let's go a bit closer. So I did it on, I did it on these. See, uh, the leather is really, it's really kind of pliable and soft. So I did it on these and, and here's, here's like a profile of it. I think I'm gonna cut this, this flap off though. I think it looks better like that, just with a V shape. So I did it on these, and there's there's the back of them. So these are really nice. These are really good on, I have to say. So I'm really pleased with how these came out. You just need an exacto knife to do these. You just need an exacto knife, and you buy um, a bunch of studs, whatever design you want, and then you just sit there one day and you just go through and just put them on. So that's that. And the last one I did, I'm actually wearing. It's these. I did these they are like combat style boots and you can see the design goes around the back god I'm not doing this very well am I you can see the design goes around the back a little bit god like that that's it okay so I did that um, so this came out really well I just did this the other day I bought these first I was gonna get these on eBay you know just get a pair of cheap combat boots beat up used combat boots but I couldn't be asked to th figure out the sizing and you know I wanted a pair of vintage ones and vintage sizing is different you know to how it is now so I thought oh, screw this I'll just buy a pair of combat looking boots now that I know fit me and just sit down and just put studs on those so that's what I did so I have these and I, I love these so that's it those are the objects thus far that I've been studying um, I'll probably be doing more um, I don't know, I don't know what yet. Actually, I'm going to be studying a bag, that's it. But that's not ready yet. So so that's it. So just get yourself an exacto knife. Be as careful as you can, because those things are like surgeon's blades. Those are they're so sharp. 
I haven't cut myself yet. <laughs> Touch wood. So um, have a go at it. It's worth it and it's fun. Take care. Oh, um, I have pictures of them as well with different outfits on my blog, which is where did you get that dot com and it's spelt where did you get that so it's the letter you where did you get that dot com take care and i'll see you soon